Hey everybody and welcome back to the RS3 Iron Man series. This is episode 20. Can't believe we've made it this far. But uh, I'm actually with the new premiere artifact, something I've started to do, it actually just ran out, but I've started to use the benefit, which is, let's see this one, 50% chance to act as a sign of the porter for one hour. So uh, it's unlimited charges, but it's a 50% chance to send things to your bank. And uh, daily I've been using that, let's see, uh, about an hour doing some gem mining. And uh, obviously it ran out, so you're not going to see it in action here. But anyways, welcome back to the series. We're making some really good progress. In this episode, I'd like to focus on getting the Temple at Seniston done, which is a good milestone quest. It's not really terribly useful to us right now, but it is going to unlock curses for later on. Um, and also, I wanted to say something about uh, like streaming and whatnot. I, I know that the last few episodes have been a little bit different. Um, I've been trying to integrate the stream clips into YouTube and whatnot, um, and I felt that like the quality isn't just what I was going for. Um, so, and I feel like some of you felt the same way. But yeah, that's something that I'm working on. The streaming thing is completely new to me, and I set up a new schedule so that I can actually focus more on YouTube because I felt like I was kind of uh, uh, just neglecting it, I guess. You know what I mean? And I want to make sure that the YouTube videos don't feel like they're just a, a highlight of a bunch of stream clips. You know what I mean? Um, now, that won't... Well, that doesn't mean that I won't throw in stream clips from here and there, but, uh, but I think for the most part, I want this to be... I want it to look like, you know, a proper YouTube video like it was in the first 10 episodes or so. So I'm going to be putting in more effort to make it look like that. Um, and if you guys have tips for me on how I can go about that, then I'd really appreciate it. Because this is all very new to me, um, as I've said. And uh, it's just something I'm working out and, and trying to learn. So uh, if you guys have any tips for that, I'd, I'd really appreciate it. Well, I, fi I finally filled up the medium loop bag to 98%. So I want to see, oh, 37K. Wow. Okay. Yeah, this is going to go by really quick once I really get on it. I've just been kind of doing this here and there. Um, but I don't know. Once I really get uh, grinding on this, this is going to go by really quick. Also, shortly after this, my clip got fessed up. So that's why I'm replaying this one. But shortly after this, we got 76 thieving, which is a really big milestone because we can do Asgarnia safes now. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do them right now. But uh, it's nice. It's a nice unlock and should speed things up going forward. So if I'm not mistaken, strength in RS3 is not very useful, right? Like you want to focus on attack, correct? That's what everybody has told me anyways. Um, but regardless, any second now. There we go. That is 70 strength. So we can get access to, to Bandos if we want to. Uh, so we can go farm out devotion, but after that, I think we're going to focus on, um, we're going to put the, the combat XP back on attack because, uh, everyone has told me that that's pretty much the way to go. And I think that's the way it used to be as well. You know, what's crazy is after this, if you don't do it right, like you can't go through that way to come back. Like you can't go through this tunnel, right? That should be quest complete. With all the items and also forgetting to reset the door that one time and everything, I still don't think that was worse than Morning's End Part 1. Morning's End Part 1 was just, was just terrible because it was just so outdated and nothing worked right. But 64 agility and we also can go get another reward from May as well. So that's cool. Let's go do that quick. Fortunate component, hopefully. Yeah, these are fortunate, right? Yeah, cool. And 1 million GP. Awesome. Awesome. We can actually go do shop runs now if we want to. There we go. 64 range. So now we can go do, well, we got to do Missing My Mummy and then uh, Curse of a Rob. There we go. Apparently I needed to do uh, Swept Away to get a Squirk Juice, which is needed for uh, Missing My Mummy. All right. That out of the way. That was actually a pretty neat quest, to be honest, besides the rock clicking simulator that that was that was kind of annoying we get a bunch of xp no levels wow but excuse me but i believe that should be the last well after that if we go to where is it the temple at seniston we just need okay we need 125 kudos and devious mines which i need 65 smithing for and then we can go do uh temple seniston and unlock curses which won't be relevant until later on, but it's just, you know, cool to get out of the way. 
good milestone anyways. So I feel like I've been bouncing around a lot in this video, uh, especially with my AFK time and stuff. And there's a lot of stuff that I want to get up. But it, in the interest of the goal for this video, I think I just need to get on the smithing grind because smithing is the last skill that I need. Um, I need 65 for devious mines. Um, and I also I need like, honestly, for a bunch of quests, I need smithing requirements. Um, but uh, I need 65 to be able to do devious mines so that I can do the temple at Seniston. So I really want to get going on that in the interest of uh, finishing this video and finishing off the goal for this video. And then we can get back to the other stuff like, you know, construction, crafting, hunter. I've been getting up. I got up to 70 hunter now from the beach. Um, I'd really like to get up se uh, hunter to be able to try out big game hunter and whatnot. And also it's a requirement, I think uh, 76 or 78, something like that is a requirement for the Lord of Vampirium as well. So uh, I'd like to try that out as well. Get that up, excuse me. Crafting, I'm, I'm getting up little by little, um, up to 67 now. At 72, I can make a Ring of Fortune, which would be pretty nice. Um, and then also I think at uh, 75 is a perf requirement, obviously. And uh, crafting is just a really important skill. So I've just been kind of like AFKing all over the place. Uh, but I think I really just want to focus on smithing for a little bit. I, I'm probably going to have to go back to mining, which is crazy, like how much of a deficit is between my mining and my smithing because of crafting and, and other things like that. But uh, just kind of the way it is, I guess. But hopefully I can get up to maybe like 60 before I need to go back to mining so that I can make a... Uh, make the next level of ore box and the next level of pickaxe because um, that'll that'll be really nice and speed things up a bit. So I have good news and bad news. The good news is that is 57 uh, smithing, which allows us to have a chance of uh, smelting extra rune bars. And from what I understand, I'm supposed to uh, skip the next tier and do rune all the way to 70. So that's a really good unlock. The bad news is that I don't have enough bars to upgrade these room plate legs to tier to plus three so uh, i'm gonna be stuck with the plus two and i'm not gonna be able to finish the burial set so i'm gonna have to go back to mining sooner sooner than i thought quick detour to do some daily challenges and i'm recording this because i believe no we're 2k xp away from 75 herb lore so like literally any second now we'll get that um but also let's take a look quick we get a tier one aura refresh i don't think i have any of those um, Shattered Anima this week, Reaper Refresh, that's really nice actually, as well, wow, okay, this, this is actually a really good day, Medium Dungeoneering Tokens, Soul Reaper Refresh, more Clue Scrolls, wow, these Battle Passes are, uh, pretty insane, pretty insane rewards, but, uh, we'll certainly take that. So I'm doing my mining here in the Mining Guild, and the cool thing about this spot is that this ladder goes right up to, like, the entrance, right? Uh, and it's right by the Artisan's Workshop, so I can go dump off the ores there really quick. And also, there's Runite right here, and then there's Luminite right inside this dungeon. So I can basically fill up my ore box with both of them and then go drop them off, uh, which is, you know, better, obviously, because, like, the, the capacity for the ore box is per ore, so I can basically hold twice as many ores in my ore box, which is which is really nice. So this is a really good spot, I think. And I think that I'll be here probably till about 70 smithing from what people tell me. So this is going to take a chunk out of our cash stack. But this is a really nice traveling merchant, actually. Two sacred clays, um, which I, I discussed this in a previous video. But uh, what I use these for is getting steel and creation points, which uh, that one gave us 66. That's kind of on the low end. But that one gives us 99, which I think is, I think it can go up to 100. Um, but actually, let me go see if I can go find ceiling creation. Here we, here we are. This is some nostalgia. I remember playing this game back in the day. Uh, but yeah, this gives us stealing creation points, which I can go, there we go. Rewards Mystic. Oh, that's Fist of Gothics over there, isn't that? Clan Wars, wow. Anyways, uh, so these tools, these are basically bonus XP, I think. Um, back in the day, you used to actually have to use the tools to get double XP in whatever skill that you were doing. Um, but what we are looking for is the artisan outfit piece. So we can get four of them. Uh, we need six pieces in total. So yeah, and this is going to give us the, this is the crafting XP outfit. Um, and then this is the one for fletching, which we'll get later on. But uh, this one's a higher priority, I would say. Uh but yeah, we can buy four pieces right now, and we're going to be doing a crafting grind uh, pretty soon. So this is going to come in really handy. And I think the add-on 
for the helmet is that that's the last one you get, but that one's going to be pretty good as well. Okay, so apparently, according to the wiki, uh, while wearing the bandana, you have a 5% chance of saving a piece of leather, which I think stacks with the Dungeoneering Scroll. Um, it also gives you 21 soft clay per day, so that's random, I guess, if you want to make some daily urns or something like that. So it's not the probably the most useful add-on uh, of all of them, but, you know, it's uh, it might come in handy. So I have been AFKing, and we have built up about 600 bars worth of rune, which should last us quite a while I think uh yeah not not sure exactly how far that'll get us I I don't know I think that would get us to 65 I I don't know we're we'll, we'll see let's let's uh let's uh bang some bars and see where see where we blah, blah, see where it gets us so it is reset time and jack of trades time and this is a really big one because that will be 75 herb lore which is a requirement for Plague's End, that's the big thing. Um, but also, it's just kind of a nice round number. Um, I guess I can clean Torstoles now, that's cool. Anything, I don't know, nothing particularly useful. But it's just a cool uh, cool milestone, and uh, it's a prep requirement, obviously. But I'm going to do this two more times, because uh, this is absolutely broken. But uh, yeah, let's do that. Holy shit, look at this! Now we are really done with uh wait a minute where is it okay it says that i bred a harlequin cow which uh that's what the collection log said anyways i guess we'll see when this one grows up i think but uh yeah we completed the cow breeding log so i guess now we're really done with with breeding cows and uh we can go check in on the trapper over here and we got a chicken so Okay, our, our luck isn't that great, <laughs> apparently, but that is awesome. We got the Harlequin cow. Oh, wait, let's send this guy off quick. Um, so, yeah, I, I mean, I guess I could go back to breeding sheep now. Um, I don't know. The cows are kind of decent beans, but I, I really want to get one of the, the other animals. Also, I forgot to check these guys at adolescence, but what are you going to do? I, I'd really like to start breeding spiders or chinchampas in the breeding pen. Um, but I need another one, obviously. Uh, Chichapas, I, I don't really want to go hunting for them. I think, uh, maybe I will, because, uh, one of my goals for the one of the next videos coming up is going to be 75 Hunter and then starting Big Game Hunter. So, uh, that's a possibility. But, uh, yeah, I'm not really looking forward to go hunting some chins. Uh, the spiders, on the other hand, they're not too bad to go, to go crank out. I think I need a female, um, because the trapper gave me the male already. Uh, but we'll, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, it's, you know, not a high priority right now. We're just going to keep farming up beans and making sure that we can, uh, keep up with the beans the trapper's consuming. And it looks like we are, we're at about a thousand beans. I think my next upgrade, uh, I guess, depending on the, the pair that I get, if I get chinchampas, then I'll probably go for the animals can breed in small pens. And if I get an extra spider, then I'll probably go for this one. Um, cause then it'll just allow me to breed more, get more beans, you know, get more farming XP, all that. And also we're starting to get to the point, I believe that the, uh, the chinchampa and the spider products, they're actually pretty useful for, uh, potions and stuff like that. And also this rabbit's grown up, so I guess I can sell him. He's not particularly useful. Uh, these are used for something too. Super hunter potions. Okay. And a rabbit's foot. Yeah, I remember I remember I used to wear one of these when I was woodcutting like a long time ago like RS2 uh because I think it gives you I think it gives you a higher chance of Yeah, I think I think the rabbit's foot gives you a higher chance of uh of getting bird's nest while woodcutting because it's like a it's a, like a lucky charm type thing. But anyways, so I missed a couple of levels here, but uh that's 60 what two smithing? Um, that's from like two and a half burial sets from 57. This actually goes so much smoother once you get the bonuses and stuff for smithing. Um, but yeah, really, uh, I, I've just been AFK because uh, I was like cooking breakfast and stuff this morning. So I would like, when I was making my stuff, I just click on the heat, click on the anvil and then walk away for like five, 10 minutes and then I'd come back. So that's why I missed all the clips. We're with the 62. Uh, pretty soon I'm going to do Curse of Arav. I want to do it before the, uh, before my live stream in a couple hours. Well, that was a really interesting quest. Honestly, it kind of like, I don't know, it was pretty weird. Um, 
had to run through the these trials with the Barrows brothers and stuff like that. Um, it almost kind of felt like a Saw movie, if you know what I mean. Like, Sliske was running through all these trials. And now we get a new uh, Barrows brother unlocked. Well, sister, rather. Um, Linza. I'm not sure where I would go to kill her here at Barrows. But uh, whatever, we get 25k. I mean, again, I was doing this because it's a requirement for some things. Um, it's a requirement for Slush for Slisky's end game, but also uh, it gives a bunch of XP. 25k agility, always welcome. Wow, really close to a level there. Um, pretty close to a smithing level. Crafting XP, of course. And uh, Herbler, which is, of course, always welcome. So that's cool. Really, uh, really good skills to get XP in. There we go, that's 65 smithing. And now we can finally go do Devious Mines and uh, the Temple at Sinison. Also, I need to get some kudos in there somewhere, but that should be pretty easy, so not bad. Uh, hey, so I was preparing for doing Temple at Sinistin, and I was looking through my clips, and uh, somehow I lost the clip where uh, I did Devious Mines. Uh, but it gave some fletching XP and some other in runecrafting XP, but let me reenact that for you real quick. So I went up and I talked to Sir Tiffy, and I'm like, hey, Sir Tiffy, there's this suspicious thing going on with this monk who got murdered, and he went to murder and Trana guys with the, the bow sword thingy, and he's like, oh my god, no way, really, thank you for letting me know, here's a bunch of runecrafting XP, blah, 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 and now you can do Temple of Sanistan, yay, but yeah, that's pretty much how it went, thanks. So the last thing that I need for the Temple at Seniston is I need kudos. So I'm going to go by this guy because sometimes when you do quests, um, he gives you kudos and an XP lamp or and, and or one or the other. Um, so there's another five kudos. Let's uh, I'm I'm going to see if I can get any more from this guy. Okay, no, just the five. But we get a one k one k lamp. I guess you can put that into summoning. Uh, but as far as the rest of the kudos. Um, there's a bunch of stuff you can do. I think, um, I could do this. I don't really want to do that if I don't have to. Um, but there, there's various different things I can do. I should look it up. Well, literally two digs later, that's all it took. Uh, we got, well, once I put this here, there we go, 133. And that should be enough to do template Sennison. So let's go do that. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that should be the template Sennison. Once this, these cutscenes and stuff are over anyways. Uh, yeah, that's actually a pretty cool quest. It was kind of, uh, uh, I think this is, there we go. Um, I think this is actually a pretty cool quest. It's kind of nostalgic because I haven't done this in a really long time. Um, it's not too long either. It's straight to the point. I kind of like that, right? It's like, you know, go get these items, do this thing, restore the relic in the temple or whatever. Uh, but this, this is really big because it unlocks curses for us, which, um, now right now isn't that isn't terribly uh, useful or terribly, uh, yeah, because the, the curses we have at our prayer level aren't very good, but obviously later on this is going to be, it's it's a really important unlock, so it's really cool to get that out of the way. Anyways, rant over, that is the Temple at Seniston, 10k prayer XP, actually if I go to uh, Nami Forest, that should give us a level, and we also get combat lamps, which we can use on, is it just the base... Ooh, we can use that on summoning. That is great. 20k. Wait, I can do that twice? Oh, that is so worth doing. We're going to get another summoning level. Right? Can I use it? Ah, oh, yes. 40k summoning XP. That is so sick. Um, that's not particularly useful. Actually, that's a pretty easy uh, blue charm pouch to make, I guess. But... Uh, but yeah, oh, and then we get, uh, oh, this is just a general XP lamp. Guess we can throw that on Herblore. Why not? Oh, and that gives us 76 Herblore as well. Wow. I, oh, okay. That's, this is great. Okay. This is perfect. This is the perfect place to finish off the episode. We get 58 summoning, 76 Herblore, and we unlock curses. So uh, that is, that's a great way to finish off. Anyway, thanks for watching if you made it this far. Um, I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Definitely sub for more. This is tw episode number 20. I can't believe we're up to 20 episodes already. So uh, yeah, definitely subscribe if you want to stay tuned with the, uh, with the episodes and whatnot. Check out the Discord as well if you'd like to come hang out and stay tuned for future updates and, and whatnot. And uh, check me out on Twitch. We have a lot of fun uh, 
streaming over there. So at twitch.tv slash Dealer. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Uh, hopefully, hopefully sooner than later. We'll see how long the next grind takes me. But uh, we'll see you sooner than later. And you guys have a good one.